Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. And today we are working with the most humble and versatile ingredient I can think of, eggs. Now I know this is not the most exciting subject or YouTube video I could be making at the moment. We're not doing some grilled shrimp uh, or like a ceviche or something. Uh, but I wanted to address this because I believe there's a lot of misinformation out there about how to do it properly. A lot of people I know cook eggs every day. So I figured I'd take a stab at trying to fix that. So I'm gonna show you how to cook eggs uh, in all the popular styles that I can think of. Some of this may have come across as subjective, meaning if you like your eggs cooked a little bit more, then, then go for it, that's fine. But I, what I wanna do is show you the technical way to do it that you would be taught in a culinary school or that we would do it in a restaurant. So with that being said, if you are ready, grab some eggs, grab a good nonstick pan and uh, meet me in the kitchen. All right guys, let's get started. But before we do anything, we're gonna make clarified butter. This is something every restaurant uses to cook for breakfast. Uh, it is butter with the milk solids removed so you can cook with it at a higher heat. So put half a pound of butter in a pot, bring it up to a simmer. So we'll simmer it gently for a few minutes to get the milk foam to come to the top and the milk solids to drop to the bottom. And then we will shut off the heat and we're gonna skim that milk foam off of the top. This is almost the same thing as ghee. Ghee just is a nuttier flavor because you're allowing the milk solids to brown a little bit. Now strain it carefully. Don't let that uh, those milk solids get in there. And that's it. And put it away and we can actually start making some eggs. So. To begin, we will start with probably the most basic egg, you guessed it, scrambled eggs. So crack as many eggs as you'd like for your scramble. I'm gonna do three. Add a splash of heavy cream, and then we're gonna whisk this pretty vigorously until it's very smooth. And then we're gonna strain it through a, uh, a fine strainer. Make sure there's no shells. And this is just something we do in the restaurants. Okay, so let's cook them. Take a couple tablespoons of that clarified butter and a medium to large nonstick pan. Roll it around so it gets the pan coated evenly. And then it should be decently hot. You wanna hear it when you add the eggs. Drop the eggs in the pan. Now with that rubber spatula, we are gonna start stirring these eggs nonstop. So medium to low heat, not super hot pan, but you wanna stir it frequently to get nice custardy, creamy eggs uh, consistently cooked. Uh, once they get decently cooked, shut off the heat. So they're almost cooked all the way, but there's residual heat in the pan. Now season it with salt and pepper, and they're basically done. There's carryover cooking and you don't want them overcooked. So that's what they should look like. Let's get them on a plate. Now you can add some uh, parsley or some chopped chives and that is basically it. They're creamy, they're delicious. They're really, really good. I recommend you try it. Okay, let's do some poached. So uh, crack your eggs in a ramekin to make sure that they are not broken before they go in the water. And then get yourself set up with a large pot of water and we will season it with some salt and bring it up to a simmer. And also add some white vinegar. This will help with the, uh, the shape of the poached eggs as well. And it just looks cool when you add it. Now this is important. Take a slotted spoon and swirl that water. You really wanna create a vortex. This will also help with the, uh, the shape of the eggs. So do that get the eggs in and you're gonna simmer them very gently for two minutes. After two minutes, check your egg. Um, it's gonna take between two to three minutes all in, so just check them. Poke them gently, there should be a little bit of a spring, they should be very delicate. And I would say around two and a half minutes all in, they're almost always done. Get those eggs on some paper towels to remove the water and uh, let's plate them up. Now you can trim off any uh, tail pieces of the egg just to give it a little bit of a nicer shape if you'd like, and uh, they are ready to go. 
get some bread, get them on a plate, season them with uh, some salt and pepper, and you've got some beautifully delicious uh, poached eggs. You could easily use them for Benedict, uh, an avocado toast, a salad, you name it. I mean, look at that. That's pretty nice. Okay, hard boiled eggs. You're gonna start your eggs in cold water, bring them up to a simmer. Once simmering, take them off the heat and let them sit with the lid for eight minutes. After eight minutes, remove the eggs and run them under cold water to get them nice and cool and then throw them in the fridge. They'll be easier to peel a few hours later. Okay, to peel your hard boiled egg, just kind of crack it and roll it gently on a flat surface. Once you got a few good cracks and just kind of peel away, no other way to put it. Once it's peeled, just give it a light rinse to remove any small shell bits that might be left. And let's take a look at our work. Cut into that bad boy and it is perfect. Yep, eight minutes is the number. Okay, sunny side. Crack your eggs in a ramekin like the poach. Same thing to make sure that you don't have any broken yolks. Then clarified butter in a pan. Okay, so add your eggs, and this is really very easy to do. You're basically just kind of leaving the eggs alone, making sure the heat isn't too high. And I mean, it'll probably take three to five minutes depending on your stove, uh, but it's really set it and forget it. You can take a rubber spatula and just make sure it's not stuck to the sides, uh, but really all around pretty easy. Just you gotta be patient with it. Okay, we will say maybe five minutes for me all in on medium to low heat and let's get those eggs on a plate. A little pepper, fresh pepper and some salt. I decided to do it backwards and let's cut into that. It looks, well, yeah, looks perfect. Nice sunny side, voila. Over easy, basically the same exact thing. You're just gonna give it a little flip about one minute before it's done. So a nice little saute and there you go. Over easy. Just don't do that. And finally, an omelet. So we will crack three eggs in a bowl Add a splash of heavy cream. We will give it a really good whisk and then strain it just like we did for the scrambled eggs. Okay, so a medium to large pan, non-stick, plenty of clarified butter. We do not want this to stick at all. And in with the eggs we go. Again, you wanna hear it when it hits the pan. Similar to the scrambled eggs, we are gonna stir this nonstop with a rubber spatula, making sure we get the sides. Uh, we're really trying to create a very custardy filling for this omelet. So roll the eggs around, make sure you get an even kind of flat scrambled egg surface. Then once it looks like kind of soft scrambled eggs, we're gonna start tucking in the sides just to loosen it up and then shut off the heat. Okay, we will go ahead and season an omelet with some salt and pepper. If you wanted to add cheese or a filling, now would be the time to do it, but we're gonna get ready to fold. So loosen up the sides, grab the pan with a reverse grip. I'm a righty, so my left hand is holding the pan and I'm gonna start tilting the eggs and working with gravity. We're really trying to get that omelet to roll in on itself. So just kind of let it roll. Now grab a large plate and we're gonna tilt that omelet, that rolled omelet onto that plate. You can use your hand to kind of guide it, um, but it should look like that. Now you could season it with some parsley, chives, or sea salt, and that is it. That is a French omelet with very little to no color or wrinkles, and I believe that would pass any culinary school test. So there you go, a French omelet.
right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. You know, look, I hope you learned something. You can see there's a lot of different ways to cook eggs, but it's not hard to do, and it's so beautiful because it's such a cheap thing to cook with. Um, look, if I were you, I'd go get a good nonstick pan. It's worth the money. It'll last you a few years. The ones I'm using right now, I've had for about three years or so. If you take care of it, uh, it might need to be replaced, but, uh, you know, spend the money. It'll be worth it. And uh, let me know how it turns out for you. I'd love to see your omelet, your over easy, and bless you. And uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, until next time, keep on cooking. Thanks for joining me. Um, have a good day.